One family in rural Georgia finds and brings relics, antique collectibles, and hidden gems to the auction block. This week on Auctionville America. The Braxton family discovers some unique collectibles and rare finds. This is 1820 Davis and Barber clock. The condition of this is 10 out of 10. All that's dust. What is it? That's a good question. <laughs> and everything goes to the highest bidder at an estate auction. I'm 1350 now, 14 at the bottom to go 1400. And a rare find, a sentimental prize with a personalized touch. I noticed one of the jugs. It actually has my dad's name on it. There is something for everyone. 80 bucks, number 25, number 25. It's all about picking, finding, and auctioning. The location for this auction is in the heartland of Georgia at a property just loaded with valuable antiques. The Braxton family is at it again, hosting yet another unforgettable estate auction. All this week on Auctionville America. That's all 50 bucks and go and go 50, 50, 50. As soon as Braxton's company, Auction 78, is contacted, they begin the long process of preparation with one final goal in mind. Auction day. So $45, number 401, number 401. We come in, we meet with the executor, we sign the contract, and we start staging, photographing every sellable item in the house. Good stuff goes to live online bidding, and then we take everything and put it up for public auction. Anywhere from 1,000 lots to all the way to 2,000 lots will be sold at this auction. 30 by number 437. One of the best things about our company is finding treasures. We love finding historical treasures, especially related to the estates, selling them and get the most money we can for the executor, making the seller happy, making the buyer happy is our goal. Told you bought it right there. $700, number four, one, three. But making the buyer happy requires a lot of help. So what I do is I kind of partner with Dad. So when he has estates, I go out and look at them. So on this estate, actually, me and him came out together. But sometimes I go on my own and look at the estates and appraise the estates and come back to Dad and tell him, man, this is good or you don't want to touch that. Cool. That's awesome. I've been working with Auction 78 now for a year but I've actually been attending their auctions for 30 years, ever since I was a little bitty girl. I begged Braxton for a job, he wouldn't give it to me. He didn't even think I was serious. But finally we convinced him, and now he can't get rid of me. I've been working for Braxton for about seven years, and when we have an auction, I kind of manage the floor uh, and help the guys get organized and put everything together so it runs smoothly. I am a cashier here, sometimes like clerk. I'm the one who handles the money, and also I have the looks, so. That's what brings a business. <laughs> My favorite part of the auctions is just the family. Working with Braxton, working with Little Brax, working with Tony, everybody is just so close-knit. It's just it's like a big family. Brax Jr., he's doing absolutely incredible on auctioneering. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. People have said he's getting better than me. I don't think so. I don't see why they still call me Little Brax. I'm the six foot four one. He's six foot. Yeah, I might be the younger one, but I'm nowhere near smaller than him. My role here at Auction 78 is filtering phone calls and bringing in your stuff. And when you bring your stuff in, you may not like what I have to say, because if you got junk, it's got to go. And it's sort of cool when you go to different new places and they're like, well, what does your family do? And I'm like, well, we own an auction house and my parents auction. And they're like, oh, so they talk fast. 100 now, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110. That's all my friends know that my parents and my brother talk fast. 25, 29, 25, 29, 25, 29, 25, 25, 25 in the back. Now 30. Southern Railroad. What is it? That's a good question. <laughs> We are always excited about finding new things and finding things we really don't know what they are and we have to ask each other, hey, what's this? Now there's a lot of things I don't know what it is. A lot of stuff. What's that? Think about it. Railroad company. Think about what it could be. Fire bucket. It is, but it's a fire bucket. Because technically you never have to set a fire bucket down because you're scooping and throwing. Yeah. So that's why it's shaped like that. It's a railroad company fire bucket. So when there's a fire, you scoop out the oil or whatever and you throw it on there. I just love seeing things that uh, you just never see and uh, in this house here there's item after item that I've just never seen before and it's just really neat to see unusual things like that. Get her picture. Get her picture. Pressure it all over Facebook. Do it everywhere. <laughs> we have a gas mask and it's an original gas mask from World War II. It is totally steampunk. It is super awesome. 
Warning, yes. purpose of this canister is to purify okay. under open air conditions against ammonia, carbon monoxide, or large quantities of gas or vapor have been released. You didn't have any flatulence over there. In the <laughs> <laughs> This auction is overwhelming to me uh, as far as the, the amount of stuff because there's more things here than we've ever had in an auction. Anybody who walks into this place is the most. Yeah. This is the best I've had estate. multiple people come out and say, I just came by to see yeah. the house. We've seen some good estates in our life, but I've never seen something like this. Me and my dad walked in and I've never seen my dad's mouth drop wide open in just awe because there is such good stuff in this house. It was incredible. Stuff like this, you know, the, the sky is the limit. I mean, it, you could go, it could go for 100, it could go for 500. When I walked in this house for the first time, let me tell you, I went home and my poor husband, his ears were just ringing. He's like, I can tell you're excited. And I'm like, I know, but I just, I gotta have everything there. Before anything gets sold, they have to find out what's sellable and what goes to the dumpster. That means going through the contents of the entire estate. We got a lot to do, so we gotta go get it done and get it going. With the auction just one day away, hard work continues as Braxton and his crew prepare for the big event. Today is preview day and uh, we've got a lot of work to do. We've still got the two outside buildings. We have to get completely empty. We don't know what's in them, but we're gonna go dig through them, get all set out under the tent. We have to also make sure security set in place for parking set in place. Tomorrow's the auction day and uh, gotta get it all set up and get it going, so let's go. All right, so here's what we gotta do is all that stuff, we're gonna separate that, put all that stuff into rows. If there's anything good in that, I want down under the tent number two, and then we're gonna go to the shed and we're gonna empty that out. The general stuff from the shed is gonna go here, the quality stuff from the shed is gonna go there, and then any furniture is gonna go back in the French side. Okay, all right, awesome. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go boys. There's another one of these laying over there. You never know what you're gonna find on days like this. You come to set up, you can find nothing or you can find a treasure. We were digging out the barns, making sure the sheds were cleaned out. And we didn't really know what was in them. We had gone in and looked. Hey, look what I found. Look at that, man. That's killer. Look at that. But when we started digging under the layers of paper, we found coke sign after coke sign after coke sign. And that was really neat to see things that were hidden. And they were in really, really, really good shape. There's another one. Take it out. Dad, this one's porcelain. 1942. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> Lord, that's a good one. That's awesome. Are you kidding? The condition of this is 10 out of 10. All that's dust, that sign, 1,000 plus, easily. Finding signs like that, uncovered, untouched for 30 years, covered up in layers of dust, it just don't happen. My favorite piece is that knife urn thing right over there, because I've never seen one like it before. Those right there? Yeah. That one. It's a knife urn. They're a knife urn. This is what they kept their color in. And that way you keep it all safe. These are probably, if I had to put it, 1840s, 1850s, 1860s. Those are? It's probably gonna be the highest price item sold at the auction. They could go two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000, somewhere in that range. That's why we let the people decide. The first time we came, we went down into the basement, and you know, basements are a little spooky, but not this one. The walls were just lined in beautiful pottery, beautiful southern pottery. But as we were going through them, I noticed one of the jugs, and it spoke to my soul. It actually has my dad's name on it. You know how many right. times you've told me you're going to buy something? Take it to the bank. Take She's it to the bank. She's buying it this time, and I know which one. I'm buying the Julian jug. The Julian jug. What Take is that one? It's right over here. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. At some auctions, we find stuff that connects to us personally, and there's a jug up there that's from Atlanta, Georgia. It's from Julian's Distillery Company. And Nicole's had her eye on it for a long time because it has her father's name on it who died 11 years ago. You can take it to the bank. It's going home with you. It's me. going home with you? It's going home. Right. How much are you on the bank? During, I got an empty credit card. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And that's what makes the auction so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the cleanup process, the crew finds more and more unique auction items. That's a good one there. Usually, um, my dad knows everything. It's like, oh, I know what that is, which is crazy. But yet, this auction, he's found stuff that he's had research on because it's so old. You know what this is? It's Rotis a hanging rotisserie for your chicken. You wind it up right there, and it puts it over the fire and keeps your chicken turning. And it turns very slowly and cooks it. He's always told me, you'll never know everything. There's things that we find and we have no idea what they are. We go out sometimes and he asks the person, he's like, what is this? 
Okay, you want to see my favorite toy? This is my favorite toy. This is called the Sky Ranger. Wind the sticker up. Start it. The plane actually takes off. Watch it. And then all of them. That is cool. And then watch it. Watch it though. Plane going to land. Look at that. And the blimp stays in the air. <laughs> That's the Sky Ranger. Gabby. Yeah, when we were digging through the house, we actually found a penny collection with a 1909 SVDB penny in it. It is super hard to find, and we actually have a full collection including that penny in it. Nothing over here. Oh my goodness, look what I just found. The penny collection, 1909. Do you have a 1909 S? Uh-huh. SVDB? No way. Oh my goodness. 1909 SVDB? That's really crazy coin. How much is that book worth? Eight hundred thousand dollars. Cool. Sweet. Let's do it. I cannot wait to see what that collection sells for. I wish I had the money personally to buy it, but someone here is going to be able to get it for a good deal. Nicole, you know what those are? I do. That's what I was coming to ask Frax if you. Do. They're whip hangers. They are whip hangers. An old drugstore, you hang your horse and buggy whips on them. You put it like the top through there and the yep. they hung down? Yep. They can hang up like 12 foot up in the ceiling because you just grab them down and whoosh, you practice on your children. <laughs> <laughs> One of the more notable finds in the clean out was a large collection of ornate antique clocks. Many of them still in working condition. Now this is a nice clock right here. This is 1820 to 1830, 32, 35, right in that window. Eight day Davis and Barber clock. Weights hang right here on the side. They got little dust cover caps on the top of it and a nice little pendulum. And if you go down over a block or two and over one block, right behind it was an old building and that's where these were made. Beautiful clock. This thing here should hit by well over a thousand dollars. With all the cleaning, sorting, and heavy lifting out of the way, the crew is ready for the auction. Today was the last day of setup. Me and my friends came in to help Dad finish things up. We cleaned out a barn or two, found some cool treasures and cleaned those Coke signs. But tomorrow is the first day of the auction when it all comes together, and that's when we find out what everything will sell for. We're really pumped about it. It's gonna be one of the best auctions we've had in the 35 years of our company, and we cannot wait. One thing about auctions, you never know who's gonna show up. We're expecting a pretty good crowd. We've done a lot of great marketing for it. Local front page newspapers have been out here. A lot of online marketing, a lot of Atlanta marketing. We've done these before and I've had literally 20 people show up and I've had 300 people show up. So tomorrow's probably gonna be somewhere in the middle, but uh, it's gonna be fun and no matter what, it's going home to somebody. The big day is finally here, and the crew is up and eager to start selling. It's auction day, baby. Good morning, it's a beautiful day. Today is auction day. Are you ready for an auction? Let's go. All right, nine o'clock. Everybody ready? We couldn't have ordered a better day than this. Absolutely beautiful. So here we go. Item number one, Mark's wind-up duck. Let's go. Start off with like a 25, now 30, 25, now 30, be 30, be 30, be 30, 25, 30 dollars. Anybody want to go 25, want to go 30, be 30, be 30, want to go 25, now 30. The last call, be 25, now 30, be 30, be 30. Sold 25 dollars, number 499, number 499. With the first item off the auction block, the action heats up as Braxton's favorite toy comes up for bid. One of my favorite ones. It's a little Sky Ranger. How much here? I'm 35, now 40. 35, now 40. 40, now 45, now 50, now 5, now 60, now 5, now 70, mid 70, now 5, 5, 5, 75, 75, 75. Guys, great color. 70 here, now 75, now 80. But 80, now 5, 85, 85, 85, 85. Last call. $85. 80 bucks, number 25, number 25. With the crowd warmed up and ready to spend some money, it was time to start auctioning the high dollar lots. What we got up for bid is lot number 668, 1909 to 2007 penny. Guys, we found this in a box in the basement. I don't even think they even knew what they had on it. It's got the 1909S and the 1909S VDB. So those of you who know what it is, lift your eyes up here. How much here? I got 400 now five. Wanna go four or 500, but 500, but 500, but 500. 500 now six. Wanna go five, yep. six, six, six. Now seven, 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 now eight. Hit an eight, hit an eight, hit an eight, hit an eight. Now nine, wanna go nine, hit an nine, hit an nine, hit an nine. Now a thousand. Wanna go a thousand, now a thousand, now a thousand, now a thousand, fifty. Thousand, fifty. Now 1,100. Thousand, fifty. 
now eleven hundred dollars, eleven hundred dollars to buy it. Thousand fifty. You want to go eleven hundred dollars to buy it? Want to go eleven hundred dollars to buy it? Thousand fifty now eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars to buy it. Guys, know what you're buying? The one penny is almost worth that by itself. Oh, one thousand fifty now eleven hundred. Last call going once. Thousand fifty thousand for eleven hundred going twice. You bought it right there. One of the highlights I loved seeing was that penny collection, and I'm so glad I went to a great home. I wish I had the 1909 SVDB in my personal collection, but it went to a good home today. So the jug Nicole's had her eye on with her father's well, name's about to come up for auction. Who knows what it's gonna go for? Let me put me in about 100 bucks and go. Wanna go, I got 100, now 150. Yep. One, 200, wanna go 200 now, two and a half, and two yep. and a half, and now three, wanna go three, 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 wanna three, three, three. 250 now three, I have a 275. Wanna go 275, uh -oh. wanna go 275 lucky. now, 275. Here to whistle, 250 now, 275. 250, wanna go 275, wanna go 275, wanna go 275, one time, 275, now three. Yep. 300 bucks now, 325. 325 now, 325, are you giddy? 300 now, 325 now, 325, 325. 325 now, 325 now, 325 minutes, 325. Last call. <laughs> Everybody happy at 325 minutes, 325. You bought it, $300. I got my check. <laughs> my dad passed away 11 years ago, and when I saw it, I knew I had to have it, so I got it. <laughs> So glad that Nicole got the Julian jug. That way she can remember her father and uh, just enjoy it. And every time she sees it, she has a great memory. When the high value knife urn came up on the auction block, the crew's competitiveness came out. This set, I think this set's going to go for about 1500 to 1700 bucks. Um, I'm going to go lower, even though I want to go higher, but I'm going to say 1200 to 1700 1500 to 1700 Watch it happen. This is the set y'all been waiting for. One of the best sets of the night. Early 19th century, probably 1820s, right in that window. It does not get any better than this. We've actually seen them online in a couple places, well over in multi thousand dollars in the five, six, seven thousand dollar range. All right, lift your eyes up here. How much here? I got him at 650. Let's go seven and a half, 800, 800. Now 900. Want to be nine minute, nine minute, nine minute, nine. Now a thousand, thousand dollar to buy. Want to go thousand dollar to buy, but nine hundred now a thousand. You want to go nine now a thousand dollar to buy. Want to go thousand dollar to buy. Now twelve and a half. Want to do twelve and a half now? Fifteen hundred. Want to go fifteen hundred to buy? Want to go fifteen hundred to buy? Want to go fifteen hundred? Twelve and a half now. Fifteen hundred. Want to go fifteen hundred to buy? Want to go fifteen hundred? Thirteen. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen now fourteen. Fourteen. A bit of 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 fourteen hundred dollars. You're not gonna find another set. Fourteen hundred. We're gonna go fourteen. A bit of fourteen. A bit of fourteen. I'm thirteen fifty now. Fourteen hundred dollars. We're gonna go fourteen hundred dollars. We're gonna fourteen hundred dollars. We're gonna fourteen hundred. Last call. Fourteen now fifteen. Fourteen and a half now fifteen hundred. We're gonna go fifteen and a half. Fifteen and a half. You're wrong. And I'm right. Fifteen hundred. We're gonna go fifteen hundred. He's out. Last call. I'm with you. Fourteen and a half. Anybody else want to go fifteen hundred dollars? Guarantee you're not gonna buy another set. Fifteen. New bidder. Sixteen. I'm gonna jump it up. Seventeen hundred. It's worth every penny. Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Nineteen hundred. We got new blood in. Both wrong. Want to go nineteen hundred? I want to go nineteen. Bid nineteen. Now two thousand. You want to go two? Want to go two? Now twenty one hundred. What's the twenty one? Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Now twenty two. Twenty two hundred. Want to go twenty three? Number twenty three. Number twenty three hundred. Last call. Twenty three going once. Twenty three hundred dollars going twice. Yep. Now twenty four. Twenty four. Bid twenty four. Bid twenty four. Bid twenty four. Twenty four. The last call. Twenty four hundred bucks going once. Going twice. You bought it for $2,300 yeah, right there. There you go. It looks like we're both wrong. <laughs> the big money didn't stop there. When the locally made antique clocks went up for bid, prices skyrocketed as bidding wars waged. Guys, lift your eyes up. Davis and Barber, a triple decker, eight day brass movement, a beautiful dial on it. Y'all just got me a thousand bucks. You know we're coming right back by it. Thousand bucks and go. I got a thousand. We're going to twelve hundred. Now fourteen. Now sixteen. Now eighteen. Two thousand. Twenty two hundred. Twenty four. Twenty six hundred. Twenty eight hundred. Three thousand. Want to go three thousand? Want to go three? Now thirty one. Now thirty two. Thirty two. Want to go thirty two? Now thirty three. Thirty three. Thirty four. Thirty four hundred. Now thirty five. Thirty five hundred. Want to thirty five? And now thirty six hundred. One more time. Thirty six hundred. Thirty six. Thirty seven. Thirty eight hundred. Want to go thirty eight? But thirty eight? But thirty eight? But thirty eight? But thirty eight? Thirty nine hundred. Four thousand. You want to four bit of 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 four thousand. You want to four bit of four bit of four. Four thousand going once, going twice. You bought it right there for thirty nine hundred dollars twenty five seven zero. Don't drop it. Today has been a great day for selling clocks. You could have never told me they would have brought three or four thousand dollars each. Best Greensboro clock we had was a triple decker with column and splats on it, and uh, it started at about eight hundred bucks. And I thought it was gonna go for about a thousand, twelve hundred bucks, and then it got caught between a bid and war, and he paid right at thirty-nine hundred dollars for the clock. Who pays that much for a clock? 
I would never pay that much for a clock. Anything uh, concerning Greensboro, I'm interested in. Once you live here, you never really move away. Great collection for his and a great price for the seller. You never know with auction. As the auction was coming to a close, the Coca-Cola signs were auctioned out by the barn. Starting out 200 bucks. Let's go from there. 200 bucks and go. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. Yep. Now 200 out two and a quarter. 200 out yep, two and a quarter. Yep. Two and a quarter. Out two and a half. Now yep. two and a half. Two fifty now. Two seventy five now. Two seventy five now. Two seventy five. Last and final call. Two hundred seventy five dollars on the Coke sign. Good deal. Two hundred fifty dollars number four twenty three. So we just sold the Coke signs. They actually went exactly what I kind of predicted they would go for. We as the seller were happy, but I think the buyer was also really happy as well. I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> that was a good day, long day. 698 lots in about eight hours. One of the highlights of today's auction was the cutlery urn, which was an amazing set, a rare piece to find. What do you plan on doing with them? I plan on putting them in my dining room and hopefully maybe getting some cutlery in them and just enjoying them. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Even the other ones that you were selling today, we're not as beautiful as these, but when I saw these two together, I thought, it's kind of perfect. They are extremely rare. Matter of fact, in the 30 years of doing this, this is probably the second set I've ever seen. Wow. What really stuck out to me from today, that penny collection that me and my dad found in the basement, sold for right over a thousand bucks. That was an awesome, awesome price for that. That's a good deal for the buyer. I wish it would have gone for a little bit more, but that's all right. We had a great team come together, the, uh, the family worked together, all the staff, all the employees did great. Everybody did their job and it flowed extremely smooth and that's the way I like it. At the tail end of everything, we as Auction 78 are so thrilled to have this estate. It's been an amazing day, it's been an awesome experience and we cannot wait to come back and do another auction here in Greensboro. This was probably one of the bigger sales that we've ever done in our 30 year history. The property itself is incredible, a 7,000 square foot Victorian house with cellars and slaves cabins and quarters. Yeah, you're never gonna find this again.